Not sure the exact nature of the possible rules violation that they're looking at, but it's my understanding that it was not criminal in nature. So there was no additional crime uh, that was committed. But over the weekend, they're going to be keeping him in custody until they can get to the bottom of the rules violation and see if any of the rules were violated. I really want to say thanks to the folks from Parole and Probation and the Department of Health Services for keeping such a close eye on Mr. Brown. As you know, there's issues with him being here. There's a concern that they moved a Milwaukee sex offender put into Green Bay. Um, I know our city attorney and some of our elected leaders are still working on that, trying to resolve that issue. But for right now, he is in custody. He's being held at the Brown County Jail, and it was over a potential rules violation. So, you know, when an individual is, sex offender is released and they're in a house or in another facility, uh, they have a lot of rules that they have to follow. And they keep pretty close tabs on them. Apparently there was some one or more rule violations and that's why he was taken back into custody. I don't know what the nature of the rule violations was. I don't know how long they're going to keep him, but while they're investigating the rule violations, my understanding they're going to keep him in custody and that's why he's at the Brown County Jail.